Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about pickleball line calls. Specifically, what balls are considered in the court and what balls are considered out. So this is gonna be a great video. Let's jump right in. Okay, so I decided to do this video because there's been a lot of debate and just a lot of questions that have come to the surface when talking about pickleball line calls and in this video we're going to talk about the specific rules in the USAPA rulebook and what it says about in and out balls. Alright so here I am at a pickleball court and let me turn the camera around. As you can see here we have the blue which is would be considered in the court and then we have the green which would be considered outside of the court. Now uh, we are specifically going to be talking about the sideline and and the baseline here Now just to give you an example. I have four balls set up here that I just want you all to look at here now This first ball up here is That is pretty obvious that it is out. Okay. It's on the green um, And there's not you know, you can't really debate that. Okay now the second ball is it looks like from, let's say this um, helicopter view, it is over the line, but technical terms in the USAPA rulebook would insist that this ball is out because it is not talking about the plane above it. it. The actual ball has to actually touch this line to be in. So if I go over here, you can see that there is a very visible gap between the white line and the ball okay this third case here is the closest that you can get and still be out actually so this ball third ball here is actually out so if uh, I get low enough you can actually see it is not touching the line and this fourth ball is finally in the court because it is in the line and anything closer would be in the line so there you go there is the actual rules from the rule book stating that because this ball doesn't compress if it is actually not touching the line then it is um if it's not touching the line then it's out okay so unfortunately that's what the rules say and we have to play along those rules but the question is does this ball actually compress Actually, I think it does. Let's check it out. Okay, so a lot of people actually think that the ball, the pickleball does not compress. Now, I'm gonna show you that it actually compresses pretty easily. So I'm just gonna do a little experiment and have you guys see. All right, so as you guys could see, it's without a doubt, this is compressed. So e even, even on soft dinks, it could compress this much. All right, so that was a little bit of a joke, okay? But because we have no scientific studies of this ball actually compresses or not, the USA PA rulebook states, like I said, the ball must actually touch the line to be in the court. So as the example, as I showed you with these four balls and this ball being the only ball in the court, as you can see, it gets really hard to call and really tell which balls are actually in and which balls are actually out. Now they have diagrams on the USA PA rule book showing if the ball is halfway like like you see here if it's halfway then it's probably in and if it's anything more than halfway out then it's probably out but in real time it is very very difficult to actually call and be certain if a ball is in or out so what do you do well my suggestion is to you is to play 
every ball in if you're not sure. So if I don't see a green in this case, because the court is green and blue, if I don't see a clear green gap, I have to call it in, okay? I can't make that judgment call, especially if the ball is moving at such a fast rate. Uh, it is very, very difficult to call. So be courteous when you're playing in a rec play and tournament play. Um, if you're honest and I think if you're courteous to others and give that ball the benefit of the doubt, you'll also get good calls uh, on, on your side and the opponent's side too. So that's my suggestion for you. This is the rules. Remember, the ball technically has to be touching the white line uh, to be in the court. But like I said, it's very hard to call in real time. That's why it's not my favorite rule, but it is the way it is right now. And maybe it'll change in the future. So we don't know. But um, yeah, so I hope that explained it to you. Uh, and I hope it was easy to understand. And thank you for joining me in this video. And we will see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.